sisters, let's use the secret weapon in the magical guest book to defeat Master Electron. Step one, ask a question. Can we make a Ziploc bag explode without blowing into it? Step two, hypothesize. My hypothesis is, we can use an acid and base reaction to make a Ziploc bag explode from the inside as the neutralization reaction can use of carbon dioxide gas. Step 3. Experiment. Before we begin, make sure to get a grown-up and gather all your materials. The first step is to use your permanent marker to decorate your Ziploc bag. I will draw an angry, evil face of Master Electron. Horns, some eyes, and a mouth. My Ziploc bag looks like this. How about yours? Next, you can use your spoon and add four scoops of citric acid into a cup. Then add a cup of water into the cup and stir. Add a few drops of food coloring to the citric acid solution and stir. Once your colored citric acid solution is done, you can pour it into your Ziploc bag and close it nice and tight. Open your Ziploc bag a bit and use a clothespin to clip the Ziploc bag in the middle. All the colored water should be at the bottom half of the Ziploc bag. Be careful not to spill the solution! Then, put the back to the side for now. Grab a piece of crepe paper and add 4 spoons of baking soda in the middle. Fold the crepe paper very carefully to make sure the baking soda doesn't spill. Then, twist the top. Look, we have a baking soda dumpling! <laughs> Place the dumpling inside the top half of the Ziploc bag. Make sure the clip is separating the dumpling from the bottom half of the bag. Now, zip the Ziploc super tight. You should hear a clip sound when you close the bag properly. Don't let any air escape or the experiment won't work. Tipsters, do you still remember what is produced when citric acid and acid and baking soda, a base, are mixed together? Mm, no, make something else. Yes, it makes a gas, carbon dioxide. All right, Chipsters. Take out your tray and place it right in front of you. Step 4. Observe and analyze. Here comes the most exciting part of our experiment. The reaction will happen in the blink of an eye, so we need to be very quick for our next few steps and observe carefully. Remove the clip, shake the bag, drop the bag into the tray and back off! Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's do it! Whoa! My zipper back exploded! If yours doesn't explode, maybe there is air leakage in the back. 
try to zip the bag tightly and repeat the experiment again. Step 5. Draw a conclusion. It seems that our hypothesis was correct. We can use an acid and base reaction to make a Ziploc bag explode from the inside as the neutralization reaction gives off carbon dioxide gas. As the gas builds up over time, the air pressure inside the bag gets so big that the bag cannot hold it anymore and just pops. You can check out the workbook for some other fun activities. Thank you for joining us on this magical journey. See you in our next adventure. Bye-bye. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial. <laughs>